What's up? I am back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open a URL in the default browser using Java. So to open a URL in the default browser using Java, we can use the Java AWT desktop and runtime. So let's get started and let's create a new Java project. Next. <clears throat> and let's name our project as URL opener. Finish. All right, and let's create our main class as JFrame and main and click on finish. So here we can add button, text field and label. I'm going to add a label and name our label as Java URL opener. All right, so let's change our variable of the button. Let's say open URL. And for the text field will be text URL. And let's create an event here for our button as mouse click event. And let's create a method. Let's say URL opener. Let's go here. So the first step I'm going to show you is to use the Java AWT desktop. So I'm going to open a URL using the desktop. So let's type in the desktop equals desktop dot get desktop and desktop dot browse URI for example let's open google.com and so I made a mistake. Let's enter the java.net that URI that create string google.com and let's run with try catch. Alright, and let's call the method here. Alright, it's okay and Let's try to run our application. Click OK. All right, to make it more uh, Windows friendly, we can close this and go here at the look and feel and change this to Windows. And let's go here at the navigator, go to design and click on JFrame and right click title set the title to URL opener and go here at the code and generate center and let's run this again all right so let's try to open the URL so we are now open Google and close that and 
redesign the code. So I'm going to put the string here for our parameter. Let's say URL and change this to URL. And let's call this variable here text that URL text URL that get text. So let's try the runtime method. And I'm going to comment this code here. So to execute the command, we can use the runtime. So I'm going to type in process, process p, all right, and p is equals runtime, that get runtime and execute command. So we can call the cmd forward slash c start space and pass in the URL variable here and surround with try catch. All right, and let's try to run our application. Let's say for example, Google again, google.com and open URL. That's it. And we can also combine the first code and the second code, which is the AWT desktop and the runtime. So to do that, we can do, let's comment this code first. So try and we can determine if, if the desktop is supported or not. Like we can try if desktop is supported, desktop action open, you must choose that. If the desktop is supported, we can open the URL. If it is not supported, then else we will use the other way of opening the URL, which is the runtime. So I'm going to copy this code here. And paste it. All right, and let's try to run our application. So if the desktop is supported, it will ex execute this line of code here. If it is not supported, then the code will execute this one, this code here. So let's... All right. That's it. And I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you in the next video.